What's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs, day number 1331, coming at you. Hope you're all having a great one out there. Uh, if you drive for any of the apps in the gig economy, such as Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. So start right now, get started, hit that red subscribe button, tap the bell to the right, and of course, let's get 150 likes, comment 111 if you hit the like in the chat or the comments, and let's get started. So, got. let's jump into the email. Everyone comment, let's jump into the email. All right. So, um, this particular uh, driver asked to remain anonymous. Uh, some people, this is you know how they want to do it, and that's fine. Um, they've been watching my channel for a while. They've been a, a good supporter, a great supporter, I should say. And this is in response to a video I made uh, about this. So he goes, "Hi, Pete. Thank you again for all your helpful, helpful information and videos. You're very welcome. I would like to request you please keep my name anonymous. You got it." I would like to respond to the subject material discussed regarding Grubhub reassigning orders. I've been, drive, I've been driving for Grubhub for almost four years, almost like me. I've been reassigning orders ever since. I have been cherry picking. The reason I'm so adamant about this practice being considered unethical is that I think it is anything but. When I accept an order, I only know the amount of the payout and the restaurant I'm delivering from. If the address I'm delivering to is too far away to be worth the payout or the delivery is taking ridiculously long to wait to wait for, I'm going to reassign it. I've never been penalized for this because we as drivers are, and subcontractors are here to maximize our earnings to an extent, of course. I do not feel that reassigning orders for these reasons is unethical, nor should this custom be frowned upon. Time is of the essence. Time is money and I'm not working for free. What's your opinion? I'd like to know. Thank you again for all you do and keep rocking. So thank you to this particular driver. You know who you are. So here's my whole two cents on this, as I mentioned in another video. The deal is this. You are allowed to um, ex uh, accept or reject as many orders as you want. You can literally have a 0% acceptance rate. A few years back, a Grubhub driver specialist told me specifically that you are not to reassign too many orders. Now, again, that's subjective. What do they consider too many? And, you know, in, in what amount of time? Because there were drivers that were abusing the system where they would accept an order, they'd look at it, they didn't like it, reassign. Accept another order, didn't like it, reassign. You know, after they looked at the address of where it's going and how far and this, that, the other, okay? Uh, drivers were abusing the system, okay? I myself usually do not have to reassign too many orders. I really don't. Um, and what this particular driver driver is saying, uh, you know, if you you know, need to cancel it or, you know, uh, if it's just taking too long, absolutely reassign it. But this particular driver that sent this message, this email, they're not saying how often they do it. Okay. Um, because if you're not doing it like every day or if you're not doing it every hour or whatever, you're probably not going to get penalized for it. Or if you do it like once a day, maybe twice a day, you're probably not going to have that issue because let's face it, most orders, if it's a good payout, you know, 10, 15, 20 dollars, as long as they're not driving 40,000 miles to go drop it off, you're not really going to have much of an issue. Okay. And, and that just goes without saying, but what I was really referring to were the drivers that were basically reassigning orders as if it was the reject button, okay? Which they are not. Now, like I, I, I forget if in that video I gave the example, I think of when I had the flat tire uh, on my Tahoe at the time. I remember I was waiting for an order outside Buffalo Wild Wings and the light came on saying that there was a tire, like tire pressure was low. And I was like, oh crap, what's going on? I, I remember, um, I called Grubhub and they reassigned it for me. That's your best option is to have Grubhub reassign it because to my knowledge, it does not count against you if they reassign it. But if you reassign it too many times, too many orders, that's when issues start to happen. So my word of advice is this, proceed with caution, you know, use your best judgment. 
if you've been doing this for four years, obviously what you're doing doesn't violate any contracts or, or whatever. It's not a contract violation. So I would say, keep doing what you're doing. You know, if they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, keep doing it. Um, but if you get a warning, if you get an email or something about it, I would say, slow it down. So that's my advice to everybody, um, you know, and, and this goes for you dashers as well. Do you guys cancel or reassign orders daily or hourly or whatever? Let me know your thoughts. And if you are a Grubhub driver or an Uber Eats driver, let me know in the chat or the comments as well. Do you cancel or reassign orders on the daily or every now and then? Let me know. So if you guys ever want to send me anything, send me an email at pay to drive stories at gmail.com pretty simple. And at this time, I do want to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. These people give a little something every month and uh, they're fantastic. They're really uh, very generous. And I want to give these people shout outs in all my new videos. And it gives you the option to bypass my email and you can message me directly through patreon.com or the Patreon app. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got, of course, Lee Peacock, Agus, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, uh, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Just In Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Ginny Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. If you want to sign up, links in the description or in the pin top comment. And there's another link you can find in that description down below. Just click show more. It's for the Get Upside Gas app. And you're probably saying, Pete, what is the gas, uh, Get Upside Gas app? Well, it's a free app for your smartphone where when you go to pump your gas, all you do is pump your gas, uh, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside, links in the description. Make sure to download it, simple as that. And of course, if you wanna get a shirt like this one, iMultiApp, or any, any other design like it, go check out paytodrivestore.com for your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. Everything is on sale every single day, paytodrivestore.com. Make sure to go check that out. And uh, I guess that's really all I got for you, right? If you made it to the end of this video, comment end 958, end 958 lets me know you made it to the end. Be sure to subscribe with all notifications turned on. That's right, my friends. And uh, hit that like button. Comment 111 if you hit the like. Let's get 150 of those. And that's all I got for you, everybody. Until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Be well, everybody. Drive safe, and we'll see you in the next one.